Hello again, YouTubers. This is Epify with Solus. Yep. You got Monarch? Hello. Not, 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 not. What the hell, Monarch? <laughs> um, <let us. laughs> uh, according to my calculations, Monarch should shut up. <laughs> hey, yes, that works a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, we're continuing where we were last episode. Uh, we've just defeated the Durasaugs, and Monarch caught one, and he has an egg. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Um, you try and go through the other door that um, appears to be locked. You can't get in. It's like a very, very secure locking mechanism. Mm -hmm. So you guys decide to head to the door on the length of the hallway, like on just forward ahead. And you see a, like... One of those button things on the wall that's like for password kind of noises. And it's got like an intercom on it. So are you going to press the intercom to find out what's going on? Hmm. I shall observe. <laughs> <laughs> I shall observe this doorbell. <laughs> Just stare at it. Um... <laughs> Who's going to take the button then? Um... Don't know. Is... Alright, so who's taking I'm gonna press it! Okay. I shall oh, observe oh. and actually just let Monarch kill himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you hear a loud beep as Monarch presses the button. And then Stack starts coming through and you hear a woman's voice on the other side of the door. Who, who, are, you, who are you? And uh, what are you doing in my laboratory? We are adventurers! Okay, but what are you doing in my laboratory? Being um, idiots. <laughs> as, you, as you say this, you just hear the, the person on the other end just kind of sigh and turn the intercom off. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Let's try again. Beep. Beep. It comes back on again. Oh, it's you guys again. What is um, it you very... this time? Um, we're very sorry for the way we just behaved. Um, uh, we were just... We heard very... <laughs> we took out two, um, drow eggs. Drow eggs. Drow eggs. That's what it's called. Uh, those were kind of just living in my laboratory. You didn't have to take them out. They were... That was a terrible... Uh, um... We... And you didn't touch the egg that was in the room with them, did you? No! Um, what egg? I don't... Oh, okay. That, that's cool. Um, it, they were kind of protecting it because uh, a Pokemon laid it in there ages ago. And they were just kind of taking care of it. Ah. Um, you didn't touch any of my uh, uh, writing in there, did you? Like any of the stuff oh, on the no. parts of the... Oh, okay. Um, just so you know, you might need a password for this door. Uh, I kind of left it in the room that you were in. Um, if you'd oh. be so ha helpful as to open it, because I actually can't get out of this room until you help me out. Oh, okay. It, so... it comes to you at this point in time that Soul picked up a piece of paper earlier on. So. Yep. You picked up that piece of paper, remember? Yep. I'm gonna hand it. I'm gonna hand it to Lettuce to type it in. Yeah, it's got a code on to it. To the door. And it says "Open Sesame" on it. So you kind of type that into the door. Yep. <laughs> and with a me metallic clunking and whirring, you hear the door. Um, open as a lone <laughs> a, yeah, a, a random pyrodan <laughs> appears behind you hello there Whoa! yeah he, he was kind of just following you all this way like because he noticed you just as you entered town but he was a bit f afraid of who you were but as he noticed you were Pokemon <laughs> it's like oh of, hey weird dude here. how are you doing <laughs> yeah so, so you ask him who he is 
Hey, weird dude. How? Who are you? Hello, other weird dude. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, people that just showed up. Who are you? No, who are you? I just answered. We who are you? Are <laughs> <Yes>. I apologize. <laughs> Um, just as you guys are all learning to understand who they are and everything like that, the door opens and you see this person. This random other human. Standing there looking a bit annoyed. Can SCP knock her out? No! <laughs> <laughs> We have met someone. Prepare to die. Some SCP-178. <laughs> we have met you. You must die. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. She it's appears, like our eyes have she appears, contacted each other. We she, need to battle. Yeah, she appears to be <laughs> holding like a cup of coffee and looks like she's only just woken up. Um, hey, your coffee wants to be funny. We must battle. <laughs> she kind of just get, as you're saying this, she gets like um, one of those like research stick kind of things that you see in like schools and stuff, Please. and just oh, yeah? smacks you on the nose with it. I'm fine. Ow! Like she's she used to be a teacher in like a, a few years. Back. <laughs> what from the sixties? Well, like something. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> my mom does that on a daily basis and hits me. You threats do oh, not whoa, 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 whoa. That took a dark crest. Whoa. No, I just <laughs> meant like she keeps it. She just keeps it in in chance of like people asking dumb questions or saying dumb stuff. Oh. Um my she... nose hurts. <laughs> oh, she just love beating random people. She asks if you guys would want a cup of tea, um what we chat like while you're here. Um, I mean, shit, why the hell not? I'm not gonna turn down a cup of tea. Yeah. Oh, uh, And now we hear a car go by behind us outside. She's like, sorry, <laughs> that, that's just one of those um, zombie mons. I don't know which one it is, but it makes really odd noises sometimes. Makes car noises. Yeah. Um, and probably, probably half an hour goes by, and you're just like sitting down chatting about uh, how you came to the city and. Um, like just drinking cups of tea. Uh, she says she's sorry that she's run out of sugar. Um, and uh, she says, oh, how sad. She says, of course, that she's the only person living in this town now because um, the zombie ones have been causing quite a stir lately, and uh, she's been trying to find a way of like. Stopping them from like being so feral and stuff like that. She's tried many different like experiments and stuff to try and calm them down or at least make them non-feral. But it appears that it's something to do with the genetics of the creatures. And yeah, um, as she's saying this, however, <clears throat> she thinks that it's probably a better idea if she just shows you what she's been talking about. And she picks up a set of keys on one of the shelves and I just... kind of like gives you a tour of her laboratory. So you walk out oh. of the door and go to the door on the hallway that was a bit locked, like with that <laughs> magnetic locking system. And you just hear her shove the key into the lock and it locks with like a chunk. And as you open the door, you see, this room hasn't really been opened in a while, and it's very dusty. Um, like, there's loads of, like, test tubes and stuff set out on tables, and there's three, like, large cylinders covered in dust. And, um, everyone keeps on looking at Sol, because he's making odd noises. Hmm. Like, he's, like his bag's possessed. Um, um, of course, she keeps on kind of looking at you kind of oddly. I'm wiping the cylinder because it's so dusty to see if there's anything inside of it. Um, she goes oh, to try and stop you, but you kind of get a fright of your life as you just see one of these sleeping in one <laughs> in each of the tanks. <laughs> oh my! Uh, here's a job for censorship. So you know, um, <laughs> 
I can't censor stuff, so I'm not sure if we might have to start the episode again because he did that. Because I'm doing this for YouTube, so thanks for that, Pyro. Um, that just means we get won. no money. <laughs> um, so Past the first ten minutes, I think. Yep, yeah, we're only ten minutes in. Thanks, Pyro. Oh. Uh, darn it. Shall we start again, or do you want to just continue? Uh, that's carry good. On? We're good. Up to you guys. Hmm. Uh, we've got I mean, far enough, let's just continue. I don't care. Uh, um, so you just see three of these sleeping in the tanks. They seem to be like suspended in some sort of like animation stasis. And um, she goes on to say that these are three of... That's fine, Pyro, just don't do it again. These are three of her like test subjects that she's probably been like using a new chemical that she invented on them. Yeah, pounce a lot to edit the situation. And, um... The, the weird side effects have caused them to look a bit more hairy, and odd bones have started protruding out of their bodies in odd certain ways. Are you going to ask her anything else, or...? I am going to... I'm going to... I am going to... Uh, um... Um... Let's hear this. What are you going to do? <laughs> when in doubt, ask I, this. Yeah, when in doubt, ask me, but when in doubt, I'm just going to observe. It's <laughs> 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 always observe. <laughs> observe the doorbell. Observe this button. Yeah. Observe. Wait, like, what happens if I just like, try to break one of the things? As, you, as this happens, you just see Poro grab hold of a hammer and smash <laughs> one of the tanks. <laughs> of course, um, <laughs> Professor Becky is a bit freaked out. She's like, why did you do that? As do, he's not with <laughs> us. <laughs> and, I'm just gonna almost, the subject. and out, you just see cracks start forming all across the glass. And then it just oh. burst open. All the liquid that's inside this capsule just like sp oh. comes out like a torrent, and you will get washed out yeah. into the hallway. <laughs> Hi, bro. You gotta look. It's all green, goopy, and like not nice. It's like, goopy. It looks very, very green and goopy. It um, looks like goopy. It's kind of that kind of um, slime gelatinousness. Uh. Yeah, like, you're all coated in it. It's just DNA goop. <laughs> why? She does. Just why did you have to smash it open? Yeah. Why not? She, all just, she just grabs hold of um, Pyro and starts shaking him uncontrollably. Like, why did you do that? <laughs> um, she's not too happy with you, Pyro. <laughs> and she goes over to you and tells you to um, stand in the corner and think about what you did. <laughs> she then walks over to you. That's my punishment. Then she walks over to you and puts a dunce hat on your head. That logically fits, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just accept my punishment. As she, I don't tries, care. as she tries to calm herself down after a slight outburst, she goes over to the zombie mon that's just lying face down in this goop. Um and as, it, as it's starting to wake up, it notices you guys and goes to attack you, but of course she grabs hold of it by the back of the head. So she's basically just holding it by the back of the head as it's going nuts trying to attack you. It's like, no boy, down. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and um, you just kind of see her go reach into her pocket and pull out like a little <laughs> bone or something and throw it down the hallway and it runs after it. Oh. You just see it in later on, just chewing on the bone, looking happy. Can, can I pet it? Um, you can try to pet it, I guess. I. <laughs> this is how we lose Donna's shoe in the first episode. Of the <laughs> it's an arm bit. Um. A slight Jenny. No, it's like um, what's it? The thingy one. Uh, forgot. Damn, it goes to lick you, 
and you realise almost instantaneously you, you have an allergy to zombie mons. As your whole arm oh. just goes a bright red. Oh! <laughs> just how do I have have the first Is that episode? Pyrodan's weakness? Yeah, he's allergic to zombie mons. Why do I have to have the allergy? <laughs> Why? Because you did a dumb thing and you'll get a dumb reaction. Screw you. You, we you, had to, you had to smash open the container, didn't you? Jeez, something. Is that what you mean? <laughs> um, of course, to everyone but Pyro, she gives you a rare candy. Oh! <laughs> Just because you guys weren't the... You were actually doing what she thought other people would do. And not just randomly um, destroying her research. Well, I use that on Hi, my ice, ice baby. Okay, go. I'm gonna use my candy. I'm gonna use my candy on SCP. Okay, do. I am going to use my candy on uh my Sweeney Todd. Okay, do. Why didn't you use it on Mita? Because she's already evolved. Oh. That yeah, makes sense. Mita is now Minty on. Oh, yeah. Me Minty Mita. <laughs> it it's a Minta. <laughs> Mita. Mita. Now Minty. Me Minta. <laughs> Me oh <my> Minta. <laughs> Minta. Yeah. I'm just gonna cry in my corner. Um. After a while of like. Just watching poor Pyro just sitting in the corner for a while. With a weird allergy burn on his arm. Um, she finally kind of says, okay, that's enough, and kind of picks you up. And takes you back to, takes all you guys back to uh, the far room. And um, explains that the black dust that you guys saw as you entered the town um, only started appearing when the zombie one started appearing and from what she can gather from her research she notices it's coming from the large city to the north of course she's never left town so she's not really sure about like the inner workings of that city and stuff like that but she says uh -huh. If you could possibly search for a reason for why these zombie mons are attacking us, um, that would be very much Maybe appreciated. They are... Maybe they are rabid. Maybe. Um, of course, before of course. you're about to leave um, for a little mission that she's told you about, um, she notices in Monarch's pocket, as it falls out on the floor, an aqua badge that you got previously in the campaign. And she says, Oh, you guys are, um, Pokemon trainers trying to take on the Pokemon League, are you? I mean, I guess. I pick up my badge. We just want Pokemans. <laughs> <laughs> you cookie training. We're Pokemon trainer. <laughs> and um, she says, uh, "Okay, just wait once, one second. And you just kind of see her press a button on like on like a wall next to a shelf, and you see right, a, you see like a wardrobe move out the way." And there's a secret room just behind where she's been sitting with you guys drinking tea. Gee, gym trainer? <laughs> she ru she kind of she runs inside. It's a very dark room, and you guys kind of worrying where she went after um, her, probably a few minutes of following after her. And I'm just gonna very nervously peek around the corner. <laughs> however, as soon as you in, heading right in. however, as you walk into the room. You are nearly blinded by the lights that kind of turn on like that. Oh. I am holding back on making the song reference. <laughs> and you find yourself in a very, very large room that has a gym field on it. I knew it! <laughs> she explains that um, a few years ago she was part of... Sodium 
the gym challenge, of course, she was the grass type gym leader. I knew she was a gym leader! I yeah. called it! You before. called it, yeah, you did. And before that, she studied Pokemon fossils. So, oh. if you have any fossils on you, which I know you guys do. Um, oh, I have the mystery one. Yeah, all your fossils you have. If you defeat her in battle, she will, she will also give you the possibility to revive your fossils, a gym badge, and possibly a surprise um, prize. Alright. Well, hey, perfect. prepare for travel and make it double to protect the world from devastation to unite all people with their <laughs> nation. <laughs> Why do you do this to us? Oh yeah, um, at this point in time, you see Lettuce's uh, Geo Meowth, um, who he's named Giovanni, by the way. Um, Giovanni. <laughs> yeah, jump out of his bag and start singing that. <laughs> of course, you guys are all just looking at him like, what the? Because <laughs> you're like, who's what, Team Rocket? Rocket? We've never heard of Team Rocket. <laughs> Um, see. <laughs> to extend our reach to the stars above. <laughs> yeah, there's no like. No yeah, James, no. Team Rocket blasts up at the speed of light. Surrender now and prepare to fight. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Geo, Geo that's right. <laughs> I and, think um, Geo Meowth has lost his mind. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just kind of contemplating where he's learnt this song and who these. Jesse and James are. Um, I had no idea. It just came off the top of my head. <laughs> you just see Lettuce just pat Jeremy off on the head like, it's okay. We know you've had a traumatic experience with um, Team Dead Patrol. You're right. <laughs> I do like the um, sort of old 80s cheesy sort of um, high five freeze frame in the air oh, with yeah. Lettuce for that little Team Rocket <laughs> motto. <That's> yeah! Amazing. <laughs> Team um, Rocket! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. Um. Oh yeah. I forgot to say. Um. Because we have Pyro with the team. He has his starter bomb that he brought with him. Oh, wait. Isn't it going to be like really? Wait. Don't we have an extra badge that we could just give to him? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you've got the extra badge that you can just give him for his the water, water gym. <laughs> yeah, because I'm pretty sure we had like one extra badge. So yeah, yeah. Just... You've got to give that to me. Yo, though, guys. But... <laughs> she guys. Come it's around. Quill is yeah. lit. Yeah. It's a ghost fire type as your mutant dex goes off. And he's not had it long. <laughs> Space magic intensifies. Um... So who are you guys sending out for the battle? <laughs> I'm going to start it off with someone who could possibly level up by just taking one enemy down. <laughs> Todoroki! Go Todoroki! Who else is going to be? <laughs> I'm going to send it out. Sweet God. Okie doke. SCP for me. Okay. Oh, I like how I just hear the wind chimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah! Yep. That's kind of the battle music you hear. As um, you just kind of see Becky. You just get kind of just out of the bongos. <laughs> <laughs> you just see him just like get a bu um, some bongos out of his bag and start like doing that on the. Well, he's waiting for you to get some wind chimes. <laughs> wind chimes? Hey! Uh -huh. And. Um, <laughs> Like, uh, she just kind of gets all, like, ready for battle and throws out her first Pokeball. And the Pokemon that appears on the field is... If I can find this picture. Because I know I have it somewhere. Oh! And I was close. Oh! She also has something. something. She throws out a grass Mareep. Ah, uh, Reep. Oh, well, uh... I pulled out the wrong thing. <laughs> I just said she's a grass chimney. 
Um, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> He's lit as he appears on the floor. So we should roll some initiative? Yeah, yeah. All right. A D100. I get an 85. <laughs> what? I'm definitely going first. <laughs> oh, I got a natural 20, so I'm going first. Unless uh, someone else uh, matches yeah. you. Oh, I matched you. I also got a really? natural 20. We got to roll again, baby. That means it's mainly both of us rolling in. I got a 10. Okay. I got a 3 on that, so... I got a 9. <laughs> yeah. Me. <laughs> I got a 10, which means we're blasting up again! <laughs> what did Soul get? 15. Okie doke. Just roll for Pyrodan. Yep. Alright, I'll, I'll roll for him. He also got a natural 20, he has to roll again too. Actually, he's uh, fine, <laughs> just cause, um, I got, I got a 3, so... Yeah, I mean for the first one, cause oh, okay. I got a natural 20, you got a natural 20, he got a natural 20, so we had to roll again. Oh, okay. And he just matched with me again, so I gotta roll again. <laughs> <laughs> it never oh, Okay, so let's see. Okay, he goes first. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can. You go. Okay. Yeah. The madness of rolling for initiative. Okay. Yeah. Continuing so, to tie over and over. <laughs> so what are you gonna attack DF with, um, Pyro? Gonna... I only have one choice in my head. <laughs> okay. So you attack, and I'll roll for you. See if it hits. For some reason that instrument just sounds like. He's playing something that you hear in Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's win. In a Donkey Kong game. Yes, it's just wind chains for that. Okay. What are you attacking it with, oh. then, buddy? D uh, what? What's your attack of your Pokemon you're using on this Pokemon? <laughs> I sent you your stat sheet. Why aren't you looking at the stat sheet? <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm not that. I'm not the smartest person ever, though. <laughs> um. Yeah, Do you want to send it to you? Smoke drip, smoke bomb. Okay, don't just put that on the screen just so you can see it. Um, let's see. So I'll roll to see smoke bomb. That's a neutral type, so that just activates anyway. So you basically lower this poke uh, the enemy by two. On their defense, which is not helpful for me because I need defense. Oh, it's none one than Pokemon. Make kind of this. Yeah, they're not the nicest of ones. Um, I guess it is Soul's turn now. Uh, mine. <laughs> Hang on, I'm looking up my statue. Okay. okay, so it's actually Donachu, me, you, Soul, yep. and, and with my what did Monarchy my, roll? <laughs> and and uh, SCPD yeah, out yeah. on the field, I lower the enemy's attack, uh, enemies' attacks by three. So I am going to use yes. I'm going to use Phantom Slash, and I yep. rolled a fifteen. Uh, Again. Yeah, that's gonna hit. So how much damage are you dealing? I do... Nine, nine damage plus two, uh, per, uh, poison. Okay. Nine, and then next turn he'll take two poison, right? Yep. Okay. Two damage off. <laughs> two damage from poison. Okay. It uh, is now... Monarch's turn. Yeah, Zerpify, I would like to mention that you just completely skipped mine and your turn. <laughs> no, because I got a 3 and you got a 9, so... Yeah, that was after the Monarch first 20, ten. though. Because we ten. both had rolled yeah, a 20, so it's so just to roll. Oh. Okay. So it's Monarch's hey. turn. That's what I was saying. To you, I've got Sweeney Todd, and now I will use... Doesn't just a normal type thing. It's six damage. Just so no bug bites. Um, good against grass types, you know. Yeah. So you're gonna do that, or are you gonna use your normal type move? I used the normal one, and I got um, a free. Yeah, that's not hitting at all. 
Yeah. <laughs> so now it's Litz's turn. All right. I'm going to use Goofy, and let's see. All right. So your defense is lowered by two, so hopefully this goes through. I rolled a 12. Uh, yeah, you just beat it. <laughs> Also, I have Intimidate, which lowers your attack by five. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, might as well start it off with the Savage Slice. Deals 11 damage. <laughs> Okie okay, doke. So I'm taking 11. Okie okay, doke. And now it is my turn. So let's see, what should I do? Hmm. Yes, they've lowered my attack by eight, so that's not helpful. Um, my defense has been lowered to, to 11, which isn't great. Um, I think I'm gonna try activating Solar Beam. Uh, I'm guessing people's defense is lower than 17. Right. I think everyone's is. Okie doke. Yep. Do, do, do. So you just see Mareep attack starts. That. You just see Mareep start uh, charging its solar beam. And it goes on to Pyro's turn. Alright. So you go um, and attack again. I'm just, like, I'm just a tap of ender, I guess. Okie doke. So I'll roll for you. Yeah, which does double damage. If it hits. And yep, that's gonna hit. You got a 12. So that means I take... 12 damage. Or is that a 5, which means yeah, that's 10? Five. So that's oh, 10. Okay, yeah. So I'm taking 10. And up to this. Yep. So now is Soulstone. Yay. Alright. I'm gonna use Shadow Ball. Oh. And I rolled a thirteen. Yeah, that's gonna super hit. Um so how much of that damage does that do, buddy? Um Shadow Ball does give me one second to look at the scat sheet. 10 damage. Oh, wow. And I'm, I'm sorry, I got the name of it wrong. It's called Dark Pulse. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, that's very different. Uh, you just see a blast of dark yeah. energy go flying towards this poor Mareep who's still charging its solar beam. Um, you can see, it hits, but you still see it charging afterwards as the smoke clears. And it is now Monarch's turn. Okay, I shall um, now use the attack. Is an edge? No. Yeah, I will. It will now roll. And then... This is great. What'd you get? Six. Six? Yeah. Uh, sorry to say your attack misfires. Hey! <laughs> yep. Uh... How's it going? Great. <laughs> it is now... Let's just turn. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Oh, I rolled an 18. Yeah, <laughs> That's totally good. Good. You're totally good. Yeah, and I'm going to... Might as well do double jab, which is a fight type, and I have to roll two d6s for the damage, so I rolled four twice, so that means eight. Yeah, you've totally taken down this poor... Um, what was the move again? Uh, double jab. Yeah. You just see your Pokemon kind of swing back its arms, and they just completely pummel this poor Marie to, like, total unconsciousness. <laughs> As it kind of like swings its arms back and just That's smashes him in like that. And this Marie goes down. Fun. Yep. Alright, she have anything else? Uh she returns her Marie and sends out 
hurt or terror? Oh, this is not going to end well. I don't quite remember what the Torterra was. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll just find a picture for you. I'm pretty sure the Torterra was something that was pulled up while I was playing some Borderlands. Really? <laughs> yeah, because we were doing campaign as well at the same time, so... Okay, uh, yeah. I probably should have found a picture for him before I like started the campaign, but I didn't. I completely forgot I put him on. There he is. Oh yeah, that's what Torture was. He's a giant tortoise. Um. Oh, then I still can't pull out my water tank. <laughs> yeah, I like how that poor Marie didn't even get to finish its solar beam. He just took it out before he even got the chance to. I didn't um, use my most powerful attack for the second. Oh uh, wait, if I remember correctly, doesn't Torture have self healing ability? Um. Only if it's got like certain attacks that do that. Um, but this one doesn't. Uh, however, because Becky's a little annoyed that you took down her Pokemon before she even activated Solar Beam totally, she activates one move that uh, if it does some, if it activates, will do a lot of damage to all of yours. So, keep the one with the highest amount of health out. Okay. <laughs> that is, like, very descriptive, my guy. Let's see if this roll works. Oh, it did. I didn't expect that. Um, I was also going to switch to yeah. one of my different Pokemon. Yeah, only one but... turn, though, buddy. Yeah. Um, I got a 15. I only had to need get a 14 or higher for this. And I can only use it once per battle. She activates Frenzy Plant. You see giant vines burst from the ground covered in spikes that completely just smash all your Pokemon. No comments. And no. each of your Pokemon takes 18 damage. Oh. Okay. Oh, good thing I've still got something alive. Good thing the one I had out is still, like... Oh, well, <laughs> luckily for um, Pyro, his Pokemon is still alive because <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Ow. Um, so each of you took 18 Sadly. damage, that'll be bad. Yeah, wait, oh. wasn't it marked off by eight? Oh. Huh, because oh, the abilities that both me and Solus have, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it activates, I think it only activates when you first enter battle but because oh, yeah. um, it switched the Pokemon, it doesn't activate anymore. Sometimes active anything. Oof, so what? what's 28 minus 18? Because I can't do basic math. 28 minus 18 is 10. Oh, so I only have 10 health left. Same here. <laughs> I is, I have, is um, 10 left. Well. Mm. Anyway, shouldn't the new one roll for initiative 2 for how... Well, which one it gets? Do you want to do that? Like, we can stick oh, with what we've got. Usually, on. like, each Pokemon has a different speed, initiative-wise. Please don't. Yeah. Uh, but I'm can guessing because this I... one's quite heavy, he'll just be last initiative anyway. Yeah, can I- am I- are we allowed to swap Pokemon during battles? Uh, yeah, but only on your turn, buddy. Yeah. Okay. I- I just wanted to ask. Yeah, yeah. To- to- So I can roll again if you want to see what this one's initiative's gonna be if you want. Let us yeah, prob- probably best. Okay, no. Uh, what did I get? That's a 19. Uh, oh, so you're going ahead of all of us. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, do you want me to do that? Uh, okie doke. We're back. Oh, yes. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, seeing as I... Wait, is that the ability to come into battle, or is that, like, just... What do you mean? What, how you just made everyone take 18 damage, is that a... An ability to come no, into that, battle? No, that was an attack. I didn't think I needed to do things, so I just attacked. Oh, well, <laughs> that's like, probably in... technically your attack, so yeah. Yeah, so seeing as I'm first anyway, it didn't really matter. Um, so, I can't use that attack anymore in this barrel, which is good for you. Um, so now it is Pyro's turn. Okay, I and use Ember with... Uh, and just remember, bag. Pyro, you do have potions in your bag. I sent them as... I put what you had in your bag um, to your little message thing. So you have a potion okay. if you need to use it. 
I'm not going to. Okay. So you're gonna attack then? <laughs> I attack with Ember with active soul burn. Okay. Then. I remember where that was. Luckily, your neutral type also automatically activates his dro his uh, defenses drop by two. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. The thing is, you can't activate soul burn until your HP is six or lower. Actually, is. let's see. So yeah. Um. It's already six. Oh, okay, it is six. Did you say? Yeah, it's currently six directly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's six exactly, my guy. So, so his attack raises by four. And if he raises, if he rolls a twenty, it's doubles. Yeah, so that's gonna be painful if that works. Um, well, actually, it it doubles anyways, but yeah, yeah. so we we'll double and then double again. <laughs> yeah. So I'll roll for Pyro then. So you use an Ember, did you say? Hey. Yeah. So you Ember. Use Ember. Yeah. Ember. Oh my god, really? Was it a 20? Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Okay, so that would be 9 times 4. He does 36 damage. Holy oh crud! crud. Jesus! 36? <laughs> Holy crud. I think the poor thing's only got 40 HP. Wow. Um, Fear me. <laughs> if you For care. something that deals no. five damage normally, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that's like the weakest fire type move as well. Fear me, for I am God. <laughs> you are a God. You're a lucky God. He is. Um, Luck is on the side of Yoshi Kage Kira. You just see <laughs> your little tiny um, lit, lit quill just kind of blast a small like ember out of its mouth. And you just see it slowly float through the air, and as it touches Torterra, it engulfs it in flames. Oh my god. And you see Torterra scream in like actual um, pain as the poor thing just gets torched. We were unprepared. Lucky's on the side of Yoshi Kage Kira. Yeah. Even Becky's like stunned by the whole revelation that's going on. And, um. She's just kind of like slack jawed as her Torterra has gotten knocked down to really low. Her dad is literally just. Oh my god. Yeah, he's like a king among men right now. Um, Why do all the dying. That look the simplest are overpowered? Yeah, like, he's like got the weakest Pokemon on the team and you're like, what the frick? Uh, so it's Soul's turn now. Alright, I'm gonna switch out SP for Blizzard. Okie doke. Wait, did Torterra die or no? No, he's still got a little HP, because um, he's got HP of 40, but he took it to 36, so... So he, so he has four health left. Yeah, he's very <laughs> low health right now. Okay, keep him alive so I can at least switch out Todoroki. <laughs> oh, switch out to Todoroki to get him some experience. <laughs> yeah. So, what are you attacking with Soul? I am gonna use... Hang on. Um, uh, unless you want to switch your Pokémon out. Yeah. But if you do that, you'll use your turn up. Yep. No, I'm gonna switch out my Pokémon, because Blizzard needs XP. Okie doke. Mm, Okie doke. So Blizzard jumps onto the field. His little Sneasel. And, um... Yeah, that's he's in a happy situation. So we go on to Monarch now. Okay, um... Don't do anything yet. I want to at least get <laughs> Todoroki some experience. I am going to switch out... Actually, no, I'm gonna... You don't attack. Do the most cowardly thing, and I am going to run behind... Um, Perf if you run for battle, and... you don't get the experience. <laughs> no, I'm going to run towards the professor, Sir Becky Stone. Okay, and punch her right on the jaw. <laughs> uh, roll for that, buddy. <laughs> no, <I'm> nineteen. Gonna... <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you get? Nineteen. <laughs> uh... Can. I... 
uh, can I intervene this and throw ice beam at him and kind of freeze him in place from uh, doing roll, it? Roll, please. I don't... Roll for that, buddy. Roll. Roll for that. Yep. I swear. Can I all just right. hit him? <laughs> I, I just. All right. I rolled. I rolled an eighteen. Ooh. Yeah. Can I just also directly punch him? If you want, <laughs> you'll, you'll, have, you'll have to roll for that as well, buddy. I, I rolled it twice. He's already frozen oh, in God. place, though. So what happens is, I, in this situation... You're going to try and kill me! So what happens in this situation, you just see Monarch go in to, like, punch Becky in the face. All of a sudden, you just see an ice beam come flying at Monarch. He gets frozen in place. And then you just see <laughs> Lettuce come out of nowhere and just, like, uppercut him. <laughs> hey, but, but and it's, like, slow-mo, from... and it's all, like, a like, slow-mo situation. It was happening then, am I dead? <laughs> we hear in like Monarch's head is we are the champions as he gets completely clocked in the face. Yeah, I rolled a natural 20 just to stop yeah. you. <laughs> I'm hearing right now is um you can't say where the road goes. <laughs> <laughs> so here to see Monarch lying face down in the dirt as he's been like clocked by letters. <laughs> Becky, Becky just goes over to Lettuce and shakes your hand and then continues the battle. Then there's, oh, wait, what about me? I did, I did, I did something in there. She, just pats, then... she pats you on the head, so. Yay. <laughs> it, it's no. it's Lex's turn, because she... Monarch just yeah, skipped his turn. Okay, I'm switching it to Todoroki. Okie do. It was a, it was a strategic, it was, was a strategic attempt. Oh, uh, Goopy was out. Oh, you said, you said you had Todoroki out at the start of the battle. Yeah, it was like during my turn, I decided, you know, give me the use instead. You don't gotta say that, buddy, it's not helpful when you don't. Um, so yeah, so Toad Roki's on used, the field now. Yeah, Goopy at the start, so. Yeah, so Toad on the field. And yeah, Toad on It goes up. back to me. So I'm oh. going to activate Bushwhack. I got a 19, so I'm coming after Lettuce. Um, and you just see this slightly charred-looking Torterra come barreling towards um, Todoroki, who just hit the field. And you just see it kind of like lean as the whole tree on its back just thwacks um, Todoroki across the field. Mm. So how much damage does that do normally? Uh, that would normally do... 11, but because Todoroki is a water So, type, 22, yeah, yeah 22. You take 22 damage. Sorry well, about that. Luckily, you've already brought I, Todoroki out. Sorry. Yeah, but. Of course, now everyone else can take down the remaining 4, uh, four health that. Yeah, how much HP uh, does Todoroki have now? Also, 4 health. <laughs> well, it's close. Um, so, it is now Pyro's turn. If he's going to say anything or do anything. And if he's not here. I'm just gonna like use a potion and then screech retardedly. <laughs> okay, if you want to do that, but so, so uh, no. I mean, nah, nah. I'll okay. use Ember. Okay, so you just see the little flame go again. Let's see if this hits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you <laughs> just got a 15, which is one over his defense. So, yep, that Ember does some max damage again. Um. Nice. But the thing is, he's so low health anyway, it just kind of just flicks him in the nose, and then he's crashing. out. So, <laughs> yep. He's gonna fall so we're dead. Yeah, he's out. Oh, fall. Now I finally get to hear everything that's happening. Uh, so what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> yep, so... Because it cut out miserably. <laughs> oh, uh, you just see a tiny little flame just go flying through the air as, um... Liquid uses another ember, but because um, Torterra is so low health anyway, it kind of just flicks it in the nose and he's out. So Torterra's down. So that means everyone gets experience, if that's yep, the yep. last one. <laughs> uh, it's not the last one, but because we're getting to quite a high amount in the time schedule here at the moment, we're probably going to end the episode here. So this is Epify, Pyro. I'm going to die. Lettuce, Monarch, and Soul sign, signing off. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>